A great way to make extra sales and extra profit while dropshipping on AutoDS is by using the price automation feature. What this does is it increases the prices on products that are selling well so that you can profit more from them and it decreases the prices on products that are not selling well for you so that you will have a much higher chance of selling those products. Let's see exactly how that is done. On the left side click on settings and then on the automations tab click on add automation here in the middle. We will begin by giving this automation setting a name. So let's just give it a test name for now. Click on next. And now we will set the conditions to when we want the price to increase. So when the sales volume is higher than one cell per one day, which means if I'm selling this product more than one time per one day, then I want to raise the price by 1% up to a limit of 1%. So in this case, if I'm selling an item more than once a day, AutoDS will raise the price by 1% and after it raises the price by 1% it will not raise the price anymore. So if I change the limit to 5% then AutoDS will raise it 1% and every time it sells more than one time per day it will keep raising the price by 1% up to a limit of 5%. You can play around with these settings to however way you see fit for your products. Once you are done setting the price automation for increasing the price, click on next. And here we can do the same exact thing except for when the product is not selling. So in this case, when the sales volume is lower than one sell per day, then lower the price by 1% down to a limit of 1%. So for example, I can say if I'm not selling a product more than one time every 10 days, then lower the price by 2% up to a limit of 10%. So every 10 days, AutoDS is going to lower the price for a product that is not selling at least once by 2% and after 10 days by another 2% and after 10 days by another 2% until it lowers the price to a limit of 10%. So once again, play around with these settings Make sure that you're setting a stop loss limit so that you won't lose any money by lowering the prices more and more. And once you are done with that, click on next. And here you can configure which products you want to assign all of these pricing automations that we just configured. You can set it on a specific product, on all of them, or you can add a filter to choose exactly which products you want to assign the price automation to. So there is a lot of flexibility when you are going about these features. Once you are done, click on finish and all of those products will have the price automation features that you have just configured. And as you can see, this automation feature is currently in progress. It is assigning all of these price automation features to all of those products that we had on that list. Our price automation settings is complete. As you can see, we have the test price automation that we made over here, sales based pricing with 860 variations assigned. You can choose to enable or disable this price automation with this toggle over here. And the three dots if you want to edit anything that we made inside these settings or delete this price automation setting. That concludes the price automation settings to help you make more profit on products that you are selling and have a higher chance of selling those products that have not sold yet.